Today we're doing the unboxing of the Pool Blaster Fusion PV10, a handheld cleaner for the pool. And why do we need a handheld cleaner for the pool? Because, like an idiot, I use flocculent to clean up the gunk from the pool. But flocculent needs to be vacuumed after. So it clumps like that. It clumps and you have to vacuum it and you can't run it through the regular filter. It'll clog up the regular filter, which this hose works on. So we're gonna hand vacuum this out because we put flocculent on it before reading what a flocculent is. Nice job. The instructions seem clear enough. This is what comes in the box and looks like it needs a four hour charge time. All right, so this is the pole. Let's see what we do with this unboxing here. Charger, all right, we're gonna charge it for four hours. There we go. We're gonna charge this for four hours and then we'll be back. All right, we've plugged it into the charger. And I noticed there's no light on it that shows that it's being charged, but this light is red when it's charging and green when it's not. It's a beautiful piece of equipment here. Got it from Amazon. Let's see if this thing works in the pool. I'm a little weary that something that gets wired in is gonna be tossed in the water, but uh, let's see what the fusion can do. All right, we have to let it charge for four hours. I'm guessing at that point, this turns green. All right, stay tuned. It looks charged. Let's go assemble it and see how it works. Next steps are to put that in and then that, that in there. So we're gonna be getting that going and all right, I'm gonna need it hand free. All right, let's uh, let's uh, pop this together. Here it is assembled. Got this thing here, and the handles that came with it were a little bit short, even put together. So we added our own handle. So let's see how this works. This is the on button. Oh yeah. Now let's see how it picks up the grind. It was doing something, but I have a feeling we're gonna be here for a while. Let's pick up some more. I think we're gonna be here for a while. There's a lot of grind there. Battery lasts 45 minutes, it says. Okay, it's picking up stuff, a little murky, making things a little murky, but I can tell it's kind of picking up. Let's look at the, let's see what we picked up. All right, so it collects it in there. 
Not bad. Let's keep going. Let's see what happens. Let's keep going. Looks like it did pick up some murkiness here. Sounds pretty strong. Boy, I don't know. It charges through there. Plug electricity there, but this thing is wet. All right, let's keep going. From the five or seven minutes we had it going, the filter did pick up a good amount of algae and there's some other dirt in there. And it also picked up quite a bit there. So we're going to get all that junk it picked up. And the filter is covered. So we're gonna rinse that off and get back to doing more. All right, the pool is starting to look a lot better. We also shocked it and um, backwashed twice. But this thing did a good job. Picked up a lot of things. It's uh, pretty good. Uh, the one thing I would watch with it is that this recharging area does get a little bit rusty or at least it gets this kind of stain so i'm gonna try to find a way to clean that out keep the connections nice but i think it should be still okay anyhow it worked really well all the gunk is out of the jacuzzi i probably have to shock it one more time for a little bit of green algae there but uh, pretty happy with it. It's pretty good. Again, the only one thing that uh, it's kind of missing is this uh, rod is relatively short. You can't really do the deep pool with it. You can do jacuzzi with it. It's fine for the jacuzzi. But for deep pool, you probably have to um, put on your own rod, the longer type. All right, that's it for the review. Are we done? Are we done for the review? Did you like it? 